Hello, this is Sola B. Have you ever had one of those days where it's just one thing after another, after another, after another, after another, that just adds stress upon stress upon stress upon stress, and then you're wondering, how am I ever gonna fix all this stuff? Or how am I gonna make it all flow better um, well it's been that kind of a day for me just one thing after another after another after another so I'm feeling pretty tense right now which I'm not used to usually I can usually the way that I have my life right now I might have a little irritation thing here and there but it's not a big deal but today it's like this it's a tower day <laughs> basically um, so I'm gonna make myself an essential oil blend um, for me I have a box of recipes I've looked through all these I do have them labeled uh, alphabetical order style um, so, and then I have, I have made cards of different essential oils that I have and um, some of their properties that I can add to or not. Um, I have made books before, but it's just, it's so, it gets so jumbled and complicated to look through. Um, like here's a cold blend <clears throat> that I made last year and it worked really, really well. So it's nice to just not have to recreate the wheel and look up all the specific properties again. I mean, I do have a feel for the different essential oils, but um, anyways, I can go on and on. So I am a big person on keeping records and writing things down. That's just one of my quirks. So today I am going to, ooh, this is kind of messy, make an essential oil blend. Um, for stress relief. One thing that I've noticed in my life is that certain smells bring up certain memories. Oh, little sets of. Um, and like rose, the scent of rose always reminds me of my grandmother because she loved, she had this huge rose garden. And also she had um, this really it was really, really special rose lotion, um, hand lotion in her bathroom. And you weren't allowed to use it unless she offered it to you. One time I did and I got in trouble. Um, but once in a while after we had a bath, she'd allow us, she'd put a little tiny squirt in our hands and just that smell reminds me of her. Well, there's a specific rose smell and, well, that's a whole other story. Anyways, um, so certain smells do end up having certain feelings for me or, and I've also, uh, there's certain blends of oils that I have made that I use for cold and flu season. And just that smell is just, it reminds me of health and vitality and cleansing and that sort of thing. So I have trained myself with smell, different smells and blends of smells before. So today I'm just going to be making a, I was hoping it was gonna be simple and then I start getting my oils out and then it's like work. Um, I love Ylang Ylang, that's one of my all time favorites. Um, unfortunately I'm out of Ylang Ylang right now. Here's an empty bottle, there's like a couple drops. I mean it still smells like it, um, but there's like nothing left. So I will be, since I wanted it in the blend but I don't have any left, Oh, see if I can, oh, pop it out. Pop the dropper out. Oh, that's sticky. Um, I'm going to be using the old bottle, because why not? Without washing it or anything. It just smells like Ylang Ylang. Um, if you don't have any essential oils, it's easy enough just to start out with one. Um, one of my all-time favorite essential oils is lavender. Um, this was made by the Man of Letters. He's on YouTube. 
and his Etsy shop is Man of Letters Co. Um, he collected the lav lavender flowers himself, and then he has his own distilling machine. <clears throat> so it's this is one of the best lavender oils I've ever smelled in my life. He makes things in very small batches, and when he runs out, he runs out. So there's his shop is um, because he's just a, a guy doing it in his free time when he's not making videos and working and raising his child and having a life. Um, he does, but what whatever he does make, it's phenomenal. He makes hand poured beeswax candles and a bunch of other things. Um, he also sells um, seeds to some pretty exotic plants like frankincense and myrrh and white sage. Uh, I believe he sells white sage seeds, but anyway, so check out his shop. I'll try to remember to leave the link. But this lavender is phenomenal. Um, one of the things I love about lavender oil, I find it, it's one of my favorite smells. I find it very calming and relaxing. It's good for burns. I've, if I touch a hot pan, and not nothing that breaks the skin, of course, but, and it starts bubbling up. If I just put a drop on there, done. It shrinks it really quickly. Um, it's an antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, so putting it in dish soap is perfect. Um, sometimes when I'm washing yarn, I'll put in the final rinse cycle, I'll put a couple drops of essential oil, it usually has lavender in it, um, because insects don't like it. So, um, then I have less of a um, chance of having moths eat my wool yarn. Um, so anyways, to this bottle of Ylang Ylang, I'm going to add, let me write it down first. Um, some lavender oil and I think how much? It's a five milliliter bottle, so I, I believe that's half ounce. Oh, and this is a slow dropper. Uh, sometimes if you spin it, you can get it just right, so it'll come out more quickly. Oh, is that it right there? Oh my goodness, okay. That is going to take far too long. Sometimes the droppers are just... They need a bigger air hole, um, so I might have to go in with the needle and make that a little bigger later. Mm. So I'm just gonna pop that off. Ooh. Oh, I almost spilt the whole thing. My fingers are slippery. Again, today's just one of those days. So I'm gonna add, let's say, a quarter bottle. A quarter. Oh. Um. of a half ounce bottle because <clears throat> I love lavender. If I had spilled that whole thing, I would have been highly disappointed, but it would just be par for the course. Okay, um, another thing I'm going to add, oh, I'm, I am going to add some Palo Santo. Buy this Palo Santo oil. It's um, therapeutic grade absolute oil. Just to remove the negativity, I'm not going to use very much. Um, Palo Santo is one of those ones, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's one for me. Um, that I try not to overly use it because, I don't know, I just try to be aware of um, how much environmental impact harvesting some of these incenses and herbs like copal, the copal tree is... And same with frankincense and myrrh. They don't grow very quickly. I do use them, but I use them sparingly. They don't grow very quickly, and they've really been harvested a lot. So I do try to be mindful about how much I use of certain ingredients. Like lavender, I don't feel bad because, you know, you only use the flowers 
of lavender to extract the essential oil and it grows every year and it doesn't cutting the flowers off the plant doesn't really harm the plant so um, so there's certain herbs that I don't mind using as much same with basil basil is my next ingredient um, I did some research and all of these are very good for stress and anxiety and that sort of thing like basil's easy to grow it's prolific it's an annual so it's <clears throat> one of those things I don't mind using a lot of Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, about twenty-five. Okay, so did basil. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna. Let's see. Bergamot is another one that I really, it just makes me happy. It has kind of a citrusy smell. Um, and it's again a flower that is easily grown. Excuse me. Uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, lemongrass. Let's. I haven't smelled this in a while. Mmm. Nope. I'm not feeling that today. Clary sage is another one that I really like. Um, it's nice and mild. It's. Okay, I'm about halfway. Um, it's a hormone balancer. It's oh, that one comes out fast. Okay, see, not all droppers are created equal. <laughs> Some of them are crazy fast, and others are not. So, I just thought I, I know this is kind of slow and boring, but I just thought I'd come on here and do this live, be, or instead of just explaining it because how far are we okay um, because sometimes it's easier just to see what people do instead of just hearing them talk about it um, so this one does not come with a dropper so I did buy these little droppers and um, I just rinse them out in um, alcohol rubbing alcohol so 75 milliliters How far did that get me? Okay, let's do a little. Okay, actually, before I add more, oh, I thought I was going to get a paper towel, but here in my thread jar is a little scrap of fabric that I don't know where it came from. Um, so I am going to put the lid back on. Give it a little shake. I might add more lavender, actually. Hmm. Um. Nope. I'm gonna add more vetiver. It's very um. There's a lot of upper notes and not really any base notes. And this is definitely more of a base note type of thing. So I'm going to say uh, let's see um, <clears throat> where did that come from? I think that Oh no, that's to that. Too many little bits and bubbles. Oh, and I did not bring that, did I? I have labels that, oh, I did. Oh, 
Oh, that's much better. Hmm, okay. Um, vetiver has a very earthy smell. Um, more earthy than Palo Santo. And it's just one of those ones that I've always, always liked. I've always been drawn to it. Um, to, I find it very grounding, but it's not uh, so grounding that it's like... I don't know, how would you say that? I'm terrible at describing smells. It has an earthiness, but it has a little uplift at the end. I don't know, I guess... Okay, anyways, I've got to continue. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty full. If I fill it too much fuller, that dropper's not going to go in without overflowing the bottle. Um, one thing I've not done very well in sometimes in the past is, um, especially when I'm reusing bottles, is I won't write what's in here. Um, so I made up a name for this blend and made a symbol for it. So um, if I want to put it, uh, I'll show you in a minute. Um, then it's not like, Mur, here it is. If you just want to carry it around. So you can buy bottles and droppers at stores um, to make your own blends. So now that I've made the blend, what do you do with it? One of the things I really like are the roll-on bottles. Um, so I would put, hopefully this dropper's not super slow. Uh, uh, I don't know, I have about 20 drops in this, and I forgot what size this is. And then I really love fractionated coconut oil. Um, coconut oil and my skin do really well together. You can also use almond oil, avocado oil, a lot of other oils. So I just squirt some of that in there, put on the <clears throat> roller top. So basically I've just made a perfume for myself. So throughout the day, if I get one of those like, oh, things again, just take a moment. <sighs> Sometimes I put it down on my chest so that um, my body heat will make the smell rise. Um, sometimes I put it on the inside of my ankles, on those pressure points because it feels good. Um, so this is something that is very easy and discreet. Um, if you're out and about, it's easy to put in your pocket, it's easy to put in your handbag, or whatever you're carrying around with you, you can keep it in your car, that sort of thing. And um, so if you run across a situation that you're just like, oh, I just need a, a minute to breathe, um, you can just grab your little perfume oil and, or no, it's not perfume oil. That means fragrance oil. I use 100% essential oils, but you can just bring your little scented oil into the break room or the bathroom or you know wherever you're at and just breathe for a minute escape everything rub a little on and just have a moment of like oh another way i guess to do it is um and this is especially helpful like if you're somewhere where you're not supposed to burn incense or kind of restricted or if you just need a little uplifting moment again is um where did I put it <laughs> too many bottles is I think this is a four ounce bottle um just add some essential oils in there and then I'll be making labels for all of these so I remember what it's used for um, and then use some high quality spring water or distilled water or something um, without chlorine, preferably. Although, let's see. Let's do it that full of water. 
add your little spray bottle part. And this, is, again, is something that you can, oh, that's another thing. If you, don't, if you don't have a big collection of essential oils, just get one. You know, what, whichever one calls to you. If it's orange, orange is, what, $5 for a half ounce bottle. Lavender is about $10 for a half ounce bottle. You know, um, cedarwood is also one of those inexpensive ones, and I really love it. Um, so just, uh, let's see, yeah. Whole Foods, health food stores, um, and a lot of grocery stores, um, but they may not have the testers where you can open the bottles and smell what it actually smells like. Um, but you can go into certain stores that have, there's like a little display, especially for the or Acacia company. Um, they have testers in the front so you can smell what it smells like to see the quality and if you like the scent or not. Um, but this is, so just start with one and you can, I think Whole Foods sells these little spray bottles. I don't know if they sell the roll-on bottles, um, but it's just, or if you just have a little spray bottle from something else, it's fine. But it's just, you can use it to mist your pillow in the evening. You can just spray it all around you to like cleanse your aura or um, it kind of scents your hair if you're just, and then the smell just comes at you and it's really, really lovely. Um, they do have necklaces and things that you can put essential oils in and then I've spoken already about um, the water diffusers that you add water and a couple drops of essential oil to scent your room. Um, so these are just easy and pretty discreet ways of taking a moment. Um, you can definitely, you know, if you have a mantra that helps you calm down or just a quick little poem or saying, you can write that on the bottle as well. Or um, you can definitely, you know, charge and bless these items and make it more intentional, which I will be doing later on today as a method to not only calm me down, but because I have to be in a good space to charge things, but to, um, oh, again, one of those days, um, but to put your, to make it more potent. Anyways, um, blessings on your day. I hope yours has been a lot better than mine.